Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a travel brochure on Canva. First, we're going to save some images to a folder so we have some images to work with. I've already searched for my two landmarks that I want to include on my travel brochure for Texas. First, I'm going to go up here to the top where I've searched for the Alamo. And I have my picture over here. So I'm going to right click or double click and I'm going to save the image as, which is going to bring up my folders. I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to name it travel brochure. Double click it and then you can click save and it will save it until your folder. Now we have a place where we can put all of our pictures. I'm going to go over here to my tab that says Garner State Park and I've got another image that I want to use. So I'm going to right click or with two fingers click, save image as, Hopefully it brings up our folder up here. You can see it says travel brochure. So we're just going to click save. I've also got my tabs open here to a source on the Alamo to help us write our descriptions so we can cite it later as well as a website source for Garner State Park that we can cite later. Okay, now we're ready to go to Canva. We're going to click on Canva, canva.com. And I already have an account created, and you should too, but if you don't, you can just go to the um, created design, or over here, there'll be a login for you. Okay, so what we're going to search for is a travel brochure. And we're gonna scroll down until you find one that has the colors, and the overall scheme that you like. Remember, we are going to put our own pictures in here, but we want it to be eye-catching and have enough room for us to include some pictures, some descriptions, some text box, there's a lot to choose from, so definitely take your time, scroll through your options, and pick the one that you like the best. For our purposes today, I'm going to pick one like this. And then we're going to click over here where it says, customize this template. Now it will bring us to our template that has the preloaded pictures in it, but now we can customize it just the way we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this text box and I'm going to type in what I want my travel brochure to be called. So we're gonna call it Texas Travels. At this time, you can also change the font by going up here where it says Twister, the size, the color. You can really customize it in a lot of ways. So right here, we're going to put our first landmark, which is the Alamo. Okay, we're going to go over here to where it says Uploads and click and it will show you all the pictures that you've previously uploaded. But we want to upload some more files, the files that we just saved. So we're going to find our folder, our travel brochure folder. I'm going to click that one of the Alamo and see it's uploading it here. We're going to do that again. Now it should take us right to the folder. We're going to click on Garner State Park. 
So then what we can do is click on our picture of the Alamo, drag it over to our brochure, and we can resize it just the way we like. This one here in the back that we don't need anymore, we can trash it, we can delete the image, and then if you click delete again, you can delete the frame. When you click on the picture, it'll let you resize it as well as move it around your brochure. Now we're going to click on our title here, double click, and we're going to rename it the Alamo. Now this part, we're going to rewrite our description trying to use about three to five lines to write a little something about each destination that we pick. So we're going to type here, Alamo Mission, comma, established in, we're going to go back and look at that date, was the site of a siege during the Texas Revolution. The Battle of the Alamo took place between the Mexican and Texan armies in 1836. And we're going to put our source, the Alamo.org. Okay, so we misspelled a word here, and Canva is very good about doing spell check for you. It will let you know if you've got a mistake. So you can click, double click it, or right click it, and then we can fix it like that. Now this writing is a little bit small. I want to enlarge my text box. That will automatically enlarge the font for you, or you can also come up here and change it. If you want to make your brochure a little bit bigger in view so you can see it a little better, you can come down here and enlarge it so it'll be a little bit easier to work. Now, I'm going to pause, grab that date for you, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got our date, which is 1716. So I'm going to come here and add my information. Sometimes if you don't know a little fact, you can make a little line or leave it blank so you remember to come back to it. And you can always go back to your websites and grab your information and input it in later. Okay, so now we're going to delete this picture. I'm going to delete the image. We're going to do one more time to delete the frame. And we're going to come over here to our Garner State Park picture. We're going to click it and drag it. And as you move it, Canva will kind of resize it a little bit, but then you can go back and make it a good size for your brochure. Now, this little picture here is obviously obscured a little bit. You can do a couple of things. You can move it down, or you can also come up here and click it, and it will give you some options. And what we're going to do is layer this picture. We want to bring it to the front so we can get the look of it being on top of our photo. So we're going to change our caption over here to our next location, Corner State Park. Alright, so now we've got a couple of elements in our brochure. You're going to go through and add a lot more the same way that we just did that, but I'm going to show you how to save it. So we're going to come up here and click Share, and there's a couple of options. The one that we're going to do is download, 
and we're going to change this to a PDF. And then we're going to click download again. It's going to take a minute. As it's downloading, it'll give you the status over here. And then it's going to send it up here to our little download area. We're going to click that and it'll open it up in Adobe. You can right click it and we're going to save it in our travel folder and it gives us a nice title here or you can change it. So you're going to click save and then you can come back and work on it until you're finished. Moving back to our Canva tab, there's a lot of options that you can use for your brochures. You can do shapes with elements, graph and graphics are included in there too, text box. You can even draw or you can even create your own images with AI. Down here under elements, there's an AI image generator and you can generate your own. Um, it will give you credits to do that and you can even pick a different style of picture. So if you're not finding something online that you want for your brochure, you can describe it here and see what the AI generator comes up with for you. And then you can use those images in your brochure. So that's an introduction to Canva and thanks for following along. Let me know how you like it.